Hey you guys, this is Nathan. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to brighten and darken certain parts of an image. This is a video that was requested by one of my YouTube subscribers. They asked a question asking me, hey, I just took a bunch of photos, but it was a really bright day. There was a lot of light coming down and we were all wearing ball caps. So our faces were all really dark and we weren't, didn't make the images look very good. So how could you possibly brighten up those sections? I pulled up a photo of uh, some of my family members. I'm in the corner here. This was taken a few years ago. But it's also a photo which is a little harsh um, with the different lighting and things. Now uh, we can zoom in over here and we can see that my dad's uh, face there partially is really well lit and that the rest is really poorly lit. Um, and then over here, like for me, I'm not getting very much light at all. Uh, so nonetheless, how could you possibly make this image a little bit better and stand out and kind of brighten up those really dark spots? All right. So first, you're going to drop your photo into the editor here in Photoscape X. And then what you're going to do is go over to the color tab. Now the color tab, click over there to the color tab. And what you're going to want to do is slide over here to brighten, darken, deepen, vibrance, clarity. That's the main stuff you're going to want to mess with, and that's going to be super helpful. But how do you select just certain parts of the image? Well, you're going to go down here to mask, and mask, um, that means to a uh, localized adjustment. You click there, and it brings up this tool where you're able to select whatever you want. So let's just, for simplicity's sake, for explaining, let's just select this column here so we have this column selected and I can decide to brighten up that column and sure enough it is brightened it is brighter than what it was before so if you wanted to do that you could but let's say you're wanting to brighten up just certain parts of people's faces so let's go over to me mine will be pretty simple because I didn't get very much light at all um, so I can just select my face everything there and I can also go over here to the subtract tool and say oh maybe I don't want my hair brightened maybe I want to keep that dark or you know whatever you'd like to do um, and then I can go and turn that brightness up and there I have kind of joined the photo back again this one it was a lot darker this one it's brightened up a good amount and I can go and select different individuals as well and give that same amount of brightness uh, to the that image let's see oh yes to add yep kind of left it on subtract there we don't want that go over here we can brighten up her face brighten up maybe part of her face it's kind of dark if you wanted to go over here to my younger youngest sister actually um, very cool Brighten up her face, Joshua, brightening up his face. It's just that you would love to put a light right on the camera itself to brighten up those different spots that don't get any light. Like right here, uh, forehead has some light, but everything below it, maybe the nose doesn't uh, need any help, but everything else could be a little bit brighter. And then for my dad as well, brightening up those different sections. It's also, you know, thinking about the kind of lighting that you have. Sometimes you can't avoid it, and that's why going back and making those different edits and changes can be really helpful. And I can increase this brightness to being a lot or just a little bit. Uh, it kind of just depends on what I'm looking to do there. Uh, but you're really able to make it a whole lot better, in my opinion. So uh, we can have that stuff brightened. And yeah, you could look at the original to what it is there so much brighter the faces are popping a bit more and I think that's really helpful um, something else you can do uh, just to think about ways you could use this in other cases let's say you take a photo like this um, and you're wanting to use this for like a thumbnail or something and you want it to really pop you know you can go back and do this exact same thing maybe it's something where you are selecting um, like in this case you could select oh, let's see you could select my hair like you could select my hair in there and you could darken my hair and you could darken it uh, maybe that make gives it a different flair or gives it more of a standing out thing because like in this case I don't know for whatever reason my hair looks really pale really um, really weak um, 
or it's something where you could brighten up my eyes. You could go back over here. You could brighten my eyes up a bit. And you know, you have to kind of take a step back every so often to see like, hey, does this still look natural? Does it look good? Um, nonetheless, it's nice to be able to have those abilities and stuff like that. One thing that also can be helpful is like I was saying with the deep in vibrance and clarity, sometimes just playing around with that stuff can be really helpful. So like, let's say if you have my face here, um, and I can of course, yeah, go back and subtract certain parts if it's like, hey, I don't want my teeth to really get messed up in here. Don't want my eyes messed up or anything like that. You can turn up like the vibrance. Let's see what kind of, it definitely gives me a whole lot more of a dynamic look. Also a little sunburned. Um, we could do some clarity. Oh, that's just gonna make me look like I have wrinkles. You also can apply like HDR and or magic color to just those selections that you picked. So like if it, you took a photo and it looks a whole lot more pale than you thought, this could give you maybe a bit more of a color pop that you might be looking for. So I think that can be really nice um, to be thinking about. But yeah, definitely for those group photos where many times you're just stuck and you're like, oh man, how do I brighten this up? How can I fix some of these shadows in here? I would definitely encourage you guys to mess around with that color tab. Very helpful, very useful. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I'm here to answer any questions you guys have on Photoscape X. If you have any other questions in the digital space, in the digital world, I'd love to help answer them and to make a tutorial for you. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.